Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to share with you some highlights of the series of 2020. This year entails special attention to the UN Institute of Training and Research, UNITAR, for its 60th anniversary as the agency with the mission to develop the individual institutional and organizational capacities of countries and other UN stakeholders to learning solutions to enhance decision-making and support country-level action for overcoming global challenge. As its chair of the Board of Trustees and president of the Global Initiative on Aging Foundation, I commend the efforts of the Institute in leading this initiative that has put together a powerful partnership among 10 UN entities, states, networks of civil society, organizations, and academia. UNITAR is grateful to organize this series in partnership with CIFAL Global Network, UNDESA, UNCLA, IOM, UN Women, UNHCR, WHO, OHCHR, ITU, ILO, the Group of Friends of the Human Rights of Older Persons, UN Geneva, the Global Initiative on Aging Foundation, GIA, the International Network for the Prevention of Elder Abuses, the International Longevity Center, the NGO Committee on Aging in Geneva, and the Harvard Law School Project on Disability, who have joined us in this effort. Since this multi-stakeholder effort started in 2022, it has brought together more than 50 prestigious speakers and 894 beneficiaries from 109 countries and different backgrounds who used to be more familiar with the work of one or more of the partners, but now are learning from a comprehensive manner. The participation of people from all regions, despite the time zone differences and the, and the feedback received represents a significant motivation to keep working. If we look back, the human rights of older persons and frontier issues, such as demographic worldwide scenario, human mobility, digital divide, climate change, have been at the heart of our discussions. This year, we focused on accessibility and its impact on individual and collective levels through the celebration of five events. These discussions have served to better understand core elements on access to justice, labor markets, political participation, health and social services, cultural and leisure services, as well as engaging different actors. We added to this year's series a slot on analysis of the legal gaps per topic with a special emphasis on how the experience coming from the aging process places older people in strategic position for being the main actors of their own destinies. Those who have joined us at least 75% in each event have received access to certificates for participation by unit. The final report on the series, together with the takeaway documents per event, with the highlights on the discussion and links of interest, as well as the video recording, will be available at UNITAR's online portfolio on aging and older persons. It is a pleasure to highlight that mentions to this initiative have been included in the different UN documents, including the report for and from the Secretary General. Last but not least, here is how you can support this endeavor sharing suggestions, including one of the topics to be covered in the series next year, participating as speakers in recommending, in recommending profiles, sharing information within your networks about the series, considering in-kind or financial contributions to develop learning tools based on the series interpretation or translation services or related initiatives. As you know, UNITAR is a donor-based funded UN entity, so any support in this regard will be a more than well. Raising awareness and using knowledge about the sensitivities around the aging and human rights of older persons, placing this important topic in one of the priorities on your agendas. We are eager to keep building blocks for strengthening capacities. See you in the next series next year. Thank you very much.